of our talk here. And this is going to be uh, done for us uh, by Brother Calvin Prevost. And the theme is, how was Moses' anger with Eleazar and Ithamar appeased? Let's give attention to Brother uh, Prevost. Why did Moses become angry with Aaron's son, Eleazar, and Ithamar after the death of their brothers Nadab and Abihu? And how was his anger appeased? Well, we will learn three lessons from this case. But first, let's get a little background information. Aaron, along with his sons, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, was to serve as the priest at the tabernacle. The Leviticus priest dealt with several kinds of sacrifice that was offered up in the interest of holiness. They was to wear a certain garment, a holy garment, and they was to have a community sacrifice on the altar. And part of it was they were supposed to eat part of it, the sacrifice, as the high priest. They also was to be physically clean and sober when making sacrifices. Now shortly after the installation, Jehovah executed Nadab and Abihu because they offered illegitimate fire before him. Let's read Leviticus the 10th chapter verse 8 through 11. That's Leviticus the 10th chapter verse 8 through 11. And that reads, Then Jehovah said to Aaron, Do not drink the wine or the alcoholic beverages that you and your son with you when you come into the tent of meeting so that you will not die. This is a permanent statute for your generation. This is to distinguish between the holy things and the profound and the unclean things and the clean and to teach the Israelites all the regulations that Jehovah has spoken through them, through Moses. So this indicate this passage indicates that Nabal and Abahu was in a state of intoxication, which was forbidden for them to do when they offered up fire. Such fire was likely illegal at the time of the offering. By them being inebriated, it was considered a sin. Now Moses ordered Elias and Ithamar not to mourn the death of their brother. But soon after, Moses became indignant at them because they did not eat the goat of the sin offering that was considered to be their duties. The reason Moses became upset was because Jehovah's law specifically says that the priests who offered up the offering must eat part of it in the courtyard of the Ten of Meetings. Doing this was to be considered to be an answer for the sin for those they was making the sacrifice. Now, Moses believed that because of the tragic events that happened that day, that all of Jehovah's commandments had to be followed. On discovering that the goat offering was burnt and not eaten, he asked Eleazar and Ithamar why did they did not eat the offering as directed. Well, Aaron had approved the son's actions, so he decided to ask Moses' question. Aaron stated that in the light of the execution of Nahab and Abihu, he wondered whether their preacher duties could be done in good conscience on that day. Perhaps he felt that by them eating this, it was not pleasing to Jehovah. Even though he, Eliezer, or Ithamar bore no responsibilities for the action of their brothers. Aramaic also had reason that on that day, they should exercise great care in the pleasing Jehovah, even in the smallest details because Jehovah's name has been profiled by his sons and that Jehovah's anger had blazed against them. So Aaron may have thought that members of his priestly family should not partake in the holy offering because Jehovah was angry. Now, after reasoning on that explanation, Moses seemed to have accepted his brother's answer. Let's, let's read Leviticus, the 10th chapter, verse 20, and let's see what that says. That's Leviticus, the 10th chapter, verse 20. And it says, when Moses got to hear that, then it was proven satisfactory in his eyes. So Moses was satisfied with that answer. And eventually, 
Jehovah too was satisfied with Aaron's answer. Now, like I stated earlier, it's three things that we learned from this lesson. Number one, we learned that when we perform sacred services to Jehovah, we should be clean and sober, ready to give Jehovah his sacred service he deserves. Second, if any of our family members commit a sin against Jehovah, we are not responsible for their action. We must continue to serve Jehovah in his full capacity. And third, if we make a mistake in good conscience, we will be forgiven if we show that we are sorry and ask Jehovah for his forgiveness. 